Hi, welcome everyone. In this second module or second video of uh, vectors or the chapter called mathematical methods, we are going to talk about unit vectors and this session is going to be fantastic. Here I am going to show you some uh, very superb animations or some simulations by which the concept of unit vector, vector, its resolution, all these things will be quite clear. So first of all, I will talk about what is meant by a unit vector as also in the previous lecture I must have mentioned that unit vector is a vector having unit magnitude. The purpose of unit vector itself is to give the direction to a vector quantity that whenever you say that you have got a vector quantity or maybe a force of 15 Newton acting in certain direction, the force of 1 Newton in that direction will be called unit vector in that particular direction. So that is a very simple idea, but as the direction changes, the unit vector also will change. So for our simplicity and for mathematical representations, we will consider three unit vectors, one along x axis, the other along y axis, the third along z axis and they will be represented by i cap, j cap and k cap respectively. So i cap is going to be unit vector along x axis, j cap happens to be unit vector along y axis and k cap happens to be unit vector along z axis. For simplicity, I will just take into consideration x and y coordinate system so that the vectors will be only in the two dimensional plane. However, the same extensions can be made even in the three dimensions. So every two dimensional vector will be a combination or a, I can say a linear combination of i cap and j cap as uh, you see and similarly a three dimensional vector will be a combination of i cap, j cap and k cap. So these three unit vectors. Now how do I find unit vector in a certain direction of a certain vector? So unit vector along any vector OP or P if I call it as that is calculated by this formula that unit vector along any vector OP is equal to that vector OP divided by its magnitude. So always it's a very simple thing that a unit vector is always equal to vector divided by its magnitude and by using the same formula which I have here, you can also say that a vector can be calculated or vector can be represented by its magnitude multiplied by unit vector. So that if I say that I have got one magnitude along x axis, it will be represented by only one i cap. But if I have 5 units along x axis, it will be called 5 i cap. Now let's come to that uh, very fantastic uh, animation kind of a thing. So let me just come to that. Here supposing, if you say I have uh, <coughs> certain, uh, you see one dimensional vectors I am trying to show along x axis. Let me say I am choosing some vector A here and that vector A has been chosen in such a particular way that I take this vector's magnitude equal to 5. So I can take this vector either starting from 0 to 5 units. This vector will be represented by 5 i cap. This vector has got its length or its magnitude along x axis equal to 5 and it does not have any component along y axis. So a y that y component will be equal to 0 in this particular case. So this vector if I want to its magnitude is 5 but how do I represent in terms of vectors in terms of vector that vector a will be called as 5 i cap. If I increase its magnitude and I maybe reach up to 9 here then this vector a its magnitude will be 9 i its magnitude is 9 and that vector a will be represented as 9 i cap. This vector here is also a similar kind of a vector and because these two are parallel vectors of equal magnitude, they will be considered to be equal vectors. So if you just see this and this vectors, they are always equal, you move it anywhere. As I was saying it previously that this, uh, what is meant by equal vectors or what are meant by equal vectors, the vectors which are got, which I have got 
equal magnitude and same direction they will be called as equal vectors so like this here you have got uh, equal vectors here whereas if i talk about a two dimensional vector let me say so if i represent a two dimensional vector let us take into consideration some vector a here maybe if i place it somewhere here and <coughs> i just taken this particular sense so if you observe okay so if you observe this vector a it has some magnitude along x axis and some magnitude along y axis as well <coughs> i'll just try to okay uh, we'll try to go for that as well so this vector a has two components one is along x axis the other is along y axis so it's x component supposing if i say that this vector a has been chosen and i am choosing it to be something like 10 units along x axis as i was saying it earlier so this vector is only vector a is equal to 10 i cap now if i just lift this vector and move it along y axis with 10 units this becomes 10 j cap so this was 10 i cap now it is becoming 10 j cap along y axis it is 10 but if i choose it 10 along x and 10 along y that's a point 10 comma 10 so vector starting from origin o and reaching till this 10 comma 10 here this vector if i take into consideration this will be 10 i cap is also there and 10 j cap is also there so it will be 10 i cap plus 10 j cap so that this vector it's same as 10 i cap plus 10 j cap this kind of thing so if you just see here i can just uh, try to take them and i'll find that these two vectors are exactly identical so this is 10 i cap you take it along any direction and you will find that the vectors are found to be equal in this particular case so it's 10 i cap plus 10 j cap but how much its magnitude is now the magnitude is not 10 plus 10 because it's a right angle triangle you will find pythagoras theorem can be applied and by using pythagoras theorem i find that this magnitude of a or in this case magnitude of s they will be turning out to be root of 10 square plus 10 square that is root of square root of 200 that comes out to 14.14 it will be <coughs> so uh, that is how much that magnitude of a or magnitude of s is going to be now while i want to find what was the unit vector along x axis it was only i cap what is unit vector along y axis it is only j cap but now if i want to find ki what is unit vector along a i will have to first of all write the vector equation which i was saying it previously it is vector divided by its magnitude so if i treat this as my vector a as 10 i cap plus 10 j cap that divided by this 14.1 will give me what is my unit vector in that particular direction along a if i choose this or maybe if i change it a bit and if i make it as maybe 12 comma 5 i'll take it as 12 units along x axis 5 units along y axis as you can see it in this particular case i find it is 12 here along x axis ay is equal to 5 units along y axis this vector a will now be called as 12 i cap plus 5 j cap and its magnitude by using pythagoras theorem will be obtained as 13 i have obtained that magnitude of a is equal to 13 so the unit vector along this particular vector a now is going to be 12 i cap this 12 i cap plus 5 j cap this we have entirely divided by 13 so that will give me what is uh, you can say this thing 12 i cap plus 5 j cap divided by 13 so if you just move it a bit you see change it a little maybe in this particular case if i choose it to be it is 10 units along x axis 15 units along y axis this vector a its position vector will be taken as 10 i cap plus 15 j cap the magnitude will be equal to 18 as i see it here even if you do it by using pythagoras uh, you see it will approximately turn out to the same thing and then i find that the unit vector along a or even in this case it's its replica 
So in this case as well, its my unit vector will turn out to 10 i cap plus 15 j cap divided by 18 will be the unit vector. So I guess that was a very simple way of uh, you can say finding the unit vector and that is uh, the most uh, you can say simple illustration with the help of which one can always understand what is meant by unit vector. The next thing that we want to speak about is what is meant by position vector. So what is exactly a position vector if I try to understand that position vector is the vector drawn from the origin to a particular point in the xy plane. So if I say p is any point x comma y here in the xy plane then the vector starting from o and reaching till that particular point p it will be vector op that is called as position vector of point p. As in this previous diagram also I can say now this particular point is 10 comma 15. So the position of position vector of 10 comma 15 will be given by 10 i cap plus 15 j cap. If my point here that turns out to something like uh, maybe uh, say 20 comma 10 or maybe 20 comma 25 comma 10 if I take it. So it's tw this point is 25 comma 10 are the coordinates. So your position vector will be 25 i cap plus 10 j cap in this particular case. So that is the most easy way to find out a position vector of any given point in the x y coordinate system. If you have three dimensional point or a point in the three dimensional space in that particular case you can just add that x i cap plus y j cap plus z k cap. So if you have a point 5 comma 4 comma 3 in x y z coordinate system it will be 5 i cap plus 4 j cap plus 3 k cap and in that particular case your magnitude will be square root of x squared plus y squared plus z squared. So that is a very similar analogy that you have just an extension of what we have done in the two dimensional system it will just be an extended part of that. So equations are not going to be that very difficult here in this case. So that is what we want to know here in this particular case once again as I said it previously and we have shown it that vector op is given by x i cap plus y j cap and its unit vector now what we have done it several times with numbers I have just written it now in this particular case in terms of maybe your uh, uh, variables it is unit vector along any vector p is given by x i cap plus y j cap upon root of x squared plus y squared. And as I said it previously, if you have a point P, X, Y, Z in the three dimensional space, the vector position vector will be given by X, I cap plus Y, J cap plus Z, K cap. The magnitude of that vector OP will be root of X squared plus Y squared plus Z squared. And the unit vector along that vector OP is given by X, I cap plus Y, J cap plus Z, K cap divided by magnitude of that that is root of x squared plus y squared plus z squared. So these things are extremely useful and I guess with the help of these simulations it has become so very simple for you to understand what is meant by unit vector or what are the unit vectors i, j, k, how are they going to be helpful for us to represent any particular vector in the x, y, z coordinate system and how can one determine what is the unit vector along any particular given vector in the form of xi plus yj plus zk format. And most of the times the vectors are represented like that. So these things are going to be extremely useful for us to find the unit vector as well as position vector and the magnitude of a vector quantity. Well that was about the you see finding unit vectors and position vectors. In the next third module we will be speaking about the addition of vectors and the laws of vector addition. The first one is triangle law, the next one is parallelogram law. They are extremely important laws of vector addition. Thanks for watching this particular video as well.